Einstein said, everything should be made as simple as possible, but no simpler. Should the current COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic scare change our social behavior? One question before us is, is it safe to shake hands now? This is a great question and it may seem difficult at first glance to evaluate the risk of this activity. However, there is a simple approach to this dilemma. Before we look at some data, ask yourself this question. Before the virus, how many different people did you shake hands with in a week? And does this virus warrant you changing this behavior? Once you have an estimate of the number of handshakes you used to have per week, Let's look at some data to evaluate the risk of shaking hands now. This simple analysis will give us insight to determine whether we should change this behavior or not. As Einstein said, let's keep it simple. Okay, let's take a look at the data. This information was collected on May 16th, 2020. And you can see I've shown three counties in Pennsylvania, Elk County, Jefferson County, and Philadelphia County. I live in Elk County, and I do most of my shopping in Jefferson County, and I'm just showing Philadelphia County for comparison purposes. This third column shows how many cases have been reported in each county thus far since this pandemic began. The next area on the spreadsheet shows when you take this ratio of 6 divided by 30,608 that division comes out to a ratio of 1 in 5,101 for Elk County. So what that means is for every 5,101 persons in Elk County one of those persons has had the coronavirus. The next section of the spreadsheet is concerned with deaths. I'm going to skip that for now. That may be a subject for a future video. So let's move over here to the frequency of shaking hands per week column. I put in 15 uh, for myself and just for an il as an illustration. And I'd have to say likely 15 people a week is probably on the high side for me. But you might consider a businessman he may shake hands with uh, 10 people a day at his office. So in that case, he may be shaking hands with 50 people a week, you know, 10 a day times five days a week. So then we look at the next column, which is called uh, weeks it takes to be assured you shook hands with a case. What that means is back to the Elk County case, if I shake hands with 5,101 people, I can be assured that one of those, statistically speaking, has had the COVID-19 virus. So how long will it take me to shake hands with 5,101 people at 15 handshakes per week? It's going to take 340 weeks, which translates in the next column to years. That's over six and a half years. So you can see the risk of me shaking hands with that person is very low. Now that doesn't mean it's going to take six and a half years before I shake hands with that person. What it means is sometime in the next six and a half years, statistically speaking, I will shake hands with someone who has had the COVID-19 virus. It might be next week, next month, six months from now, three years from now, five years from now, but eventually I will have shook hands with someone that has had the COVID-19 virus. Now you can see Jefferson County uh, rate is a little bit lower, so the risk is slightly less than Elk County and Jefferson County. Uh, but you can see the figures in Philadelphia County are quite different. If you come back to this column where it says 1 in 98, in round numbers, what that means is for every 100 people, 
in Philadelphia County, one person out of that hundred has had the coronavirus. So we come over here and, and look at 15 handshakes per week. It only takes six and a half weeks for somebody in Philadelphia County to uh, encounter uh, someone that has the coronavirus and shake their hand. So you can see it, the risk depends an awful lot on where you live and what the population is and uh, what how many people have had the virus. Just as a simple uh, analogy to understand this a little better, consider this little scenario. Let's say you have a box full of uh, 5,101 marbles. Let's go back to the Yale County case right here. You can't see in the box, but there's 5,101 white marbles in there. One of those marbles out of the 5,101 is purple, let's say. So you reach into that box without being able to see what's in the box and get a handful of marbles and uh, you pull out 15 marbles per handful. What's the chance of you picking up that purple marble out of the 5,101 marbles? So that just gives you an idea uh, how rare and, and difficult it's going to be for you to actually shake hands with someone that has the coronavirus in Elk County. The risk is very low. Now this is a simple case, of course. We tried to said we were going to make it simple. But there's other factors that would influence this risk. And maybe the biggest one is we've been told that people are not contagious after they've had the virus for two weeks. That's why the quarantine is two weeks long. So if that's true, we need to consider these figures are actually on the high side because these six people that got the virus in Elk County, that's the total number since this virus uh, epidemic began, which you you pick the date, March 1st, March 15th, or whatever, the last couple months. So now you have to ask the question, what's the chances of me shaking hands with somebody who is contagious? Well, that answer to that question is actually less risk than what these simple calculations have shown here because they're, they're showing total number of cases since the whole virus pandemic started. Did you enjoy this video? If so, click on the like button below. In my next video, I will show you how to collect the data and evaluate your risk of shaking hands based on the area where you live. To see that video, be sure to click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.